So the other night, I was browsing the internet as usual, and I saw some people advertising their OnlyFans. Now, OnlyFans has been popping up all over the place lately. And I looked it up, some people are making more than surgeons. Upwards of 70k a month. No education, just nudes. And some people aren't even posting nudes. So I was like, alright, how do I get in on this money? You know, I went to college, I deserve some of this money, I've worked hard. I don't really have, like, a sick bod, though, so what the, f the hell am I gonna do? Well, I gotta try. So... The fuck do girls do this shit? I headed into the bathroom to take some of my best provocative photos. You're sexy. You're... you're you can... you can make a killing on that website. Look at these. Look at that. Once I had my pictures, it was time to make an account. I was pretty stoked and nervous for my first post, although I had so many good picks to choose from. SCORE! This post rocks! That night, I went to bed with hope in my heart. And then I woke up moments later, very upset with myself that I made an OnlyFans. That post was cringe and needed to be deleted immediately. So I thought, if I can't get extremely rich from taking pictures of myself, well, what can I do? Am I good at anything? Do I need to go to therapy? I, I mean, I literally just made a fucking OnlyFans. Wait, no, there is one thing. only codes nobody wants to see my nudes i've accepted it i just wasn't born to be like super hot i don't have big jugs you know i don't have a six pack you know what i do have i have a brain and that brain is going to war with you only fans so what i plan on doing is building an only fans competitor for us guys the people that don't take their shirt off when they go to the pool to the people that sit inside and learn coding stuff instead of watching movies. Instead of even going outside. I haven't seen sunlight in days. Only Codes is going to end the stigma against programmers being nerdy people that sit in their rooms. Because we'll show you. Now how am I going to build this platform, you wonder? I'm glad you asked. Step one, make the logo. Since it's called Only Codes and not Only Fans, we're gonna have to replace fans with codes, which is easy enough since the font for Only Fans is actually built into Photoshop. After that, just gotta clean up a little bit and replace the lock icon with something actually related to coding. Step two, choosing a tech stack. This was actually a difficult part for me because I'm posting this in a YouTube video and I didn't wanna get roasted for using anything that came out more than a week ago. All right, I've made my decision. For the front end, I'm gonna go with React, TypeScript, Next.js, and for the back end, I'm gonna go with Go. Go with Go. That was kind of funny, right? Hopefully you guys reacted to that. Oh my God, that was so bad. All right, I've got a tech stack, but now I've got to learn it. And I did that over at twitch.tv slash nickwhitettv, linked in the description of this video. I'm glorifying the shit out of this. Realistically, it was more along the lines of me live streaming for hours on hours, copying the user interface. All right, all right, all right. Welcome to the stream. We are making an OnlyFans clone right now. Competitor, only codes. This is gonna be really stupid. I have the OnlyFans URL and account, onlyfans.com slash programming. Nick is a great YouTuber. I mean, totally true. Thank you so much. Okay, so here's only codes. Here's all the files. First thing we wanna do is the home page. 
So that is index.js right here, right? Okay, this is the home page. Are you doing Next.js? Yes, Next.js, TypeScript, and React. Okay, so we wanna copy the home page of only, only fans right now. So we wanna copy this, except we want only codes. Crap, honestly, this is taking, this is kind of getting annoying. All right, we also have to make a back end and go. So let's do this. Do we generate something? Main.go. Okay. Go help, go run, right? It's this one, it looks like. Localhost 10,000. Welcome to the homepage. All right, we have a running Go server. Patreon, but for coders? I don't know, honestly. This is just stupid. This is for a YouTube video. I'm an idiot. This is just so dumb to be making. Maybe I should end the maybe I should end the video here. I mean, is this a good end result? Oh my god. Let's try and ping the server from the front end. How about this? Hello. All right, when you hit forgot password, we print hello. That's something. Do we need a request library? Axios? Can we do that? As much as only code is a spoof of OnlyFans, I'm surprised someone hasn't already done something like this. Um, I am not, because let me tell you right now, man, it's very stupid. So what is the con exact concept? There is no concept. That is the concept. It is purely dumb. Oh my god, what is this? Cores? Oh my god, of course it's cores. Of course it's- okay, we're done with those jokes. How much to see your feet? 100 bucks. I mean, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna host this on AWS and have people be able to code. It was a good way to practice with Next.js, TypeScript, and Go, and stuff like that. But besides that, there's no reason to build this. Although I'm, I'm, I am having a good time like learning this stuff. So if you guys want to check out these technologies like Next.js. This little tutorial or whatever the, what the hell is it, what I was following. This tutorial's dope. So I'll link this in the description. And if you wanna get the whole front end that I was using all together, I think this repo, if you clone this, it was a uh, React Next TypeScript. So I think this is the best full stack there is right now is this on the front end and then uh, go on the back end, so cool to learn and then go obviously just has good tutorials anyway i mean i don't even know what i'm doing i mean why would i be making this what is the point there's no fucking point it's just stupid i don't necessarily want to build an entire platform for a joke but since i don't want to waste your time i guess i could tell you about why i chose the technologies i did as far as next.js TypeScript React. If you don't know what those are, React is a JavaScript framework, probably the most popular right now. And it's super awesome because it basically reduces access to the DOM because that's very time expensive. Has something called the virtual DOM. Check it out. Now TypeScript and Next.js are a lot newer and way more popular now. TypeScript is basically JavaScript with types. So it's harder to make errors because there's types and you know what the types of the variables and stuff are. Next.js is a framework for React and that solves a lot of problems with React that are really cool. I've just gotten into it a little bit. Go is a programming language made by Google and the syntax is kind of easy and it's super fast, like way faster than uh, Python and stuff like that, but more like a Python syntax type language. I guess that's it for the real information I have to give you about anything. But if you enjoyed this video, which was just a total, I don't even know what, what this video was. What the fuck is this? Leave a like and subscribe. And if you don't, Hey, always here for the hate comments. Let me have it. All right, see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, that was cringe. Peace.